Hello, welcome to Philly Philly. Um, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm, I feel like a broken record because we're gray. Oh, we are gray. We're matching. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to call you about that. <laughs> we just wanted to blend. And I gotta tell you, before I even go into my lamenting about our technical difficulties this time, which has become a habit, it's dark outside, almost. I mean, it's for. Nice start. But I mean, I was just, I, I feel like I didn't notice that. I, I mean, it was, it's markedly darker than it was last Wednesday when we did our... Um, I think we're a little bit later though, right? You're right. Because we did it, that was our try and buy, and that yeah. was at, at six-ish. Yeah. But, so that'll probably But be. two weeks before that, we had drinks. Oh, trash. Two weeks before that, we had drinks. So I'm, it's really, like, it's, it's just false coming. Very excited about that. So welcome to Philly Philly. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you feel up to, please make sure and say hello in the chat. We'd love to know who's joining us this evening. And before I make this drink for my hubby, because this is not going to be a drink that I'm expecting to like at all. But you're going to try it, right? I will, because of this, you know, this is loved by so many. Just not me. But anyway, but this is loved by me. So I'm excited because I, I will drink a part of it, but I will taste it. Okay. But so just to keep you updated about the technical difficulty. So one of the things that's been been robbing us from our, um, our uh, cocktail streams and sometimes our cooking streams is wanting to use music because the uh, Bluetooth speaker hasn't been pairing and it's being... Yeah, you know, it's, it's being a pain right before we go into stream. So then my our son was like, oh, I'm going to give you this speaker that you can just hook right into the laptop so you don't have to worry about that. So I did. And I did that and I thought it was going well except for it was looping one song instead of all the songs. But I, I you know, I, I digress. Then when I was getting to my laptop information because it was going to give me some of the background about this cocktail we're making tonight because that is why we're here. So thank you for joining us. Um, in fact, they, oh, Tracy, hello. Thank you for joining us. I was just lamenting about the fact that I think the speaker that our son gave us is haunted. And I think it just gave the computer a virus. Or that, because what happened was I, I started playing the music, which was fine, except for it was just looping the one song. And then all of a sudden, the mouse started, not the actual, I mean, because it's a mouse pad, but like the cursor or, you know, the, the thingy, it was like dancing all over the screen. I tried to like have control over it and it just danced and, and like you, you had no control. So finally I did the old familiar control alt delete, but then I had to use my tab key to even get it to listen to that because the mouse was not working. So now it's seeming to be working normally, but I don't have the speaker. And of course, we don't have the music once again. It's okay. So I'm hoping it's we'll okay. have this figure out by next week. So welcome to our stream. I am making, I am serving my husband tonight because I'm making him a drink that I know I won't like, most likely. Um, but I want to try it because it sounded really interesting well, to well, me. You. So the drink I was going to say that's the way it should be, but then I know I'd get a backhand. So and y'all, you can put in the comments, Tracy, put in the com oops, co comments. Have, I, now, why is that happening, by the way? That's getting cut off over there. Let me see here. So what's happening over to our chat is I'm not able to read it all. Have can I, can Andy... Oh, that's a good idea. No, no. See if you can make that small. Okay. We're just a little bit of a mess tonight because it is a Wednesday. Um, can nope. you make that smaller, like the whole, the screen? Like this part. See if there's like little lines that when you go to the left. No, there's not though. Okay. Sing. Sing. Okay. Because it was getting cut off. <laughs> oh, he should sing. That's a great idea. I think we. He should sing. We do not. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody really wants that. But what I can do is let you know about the New York Sour. So I had never heard of this drink, not surprisingly, because I don't do, you know, I don't do a lot of this kind of drink. I do other ones that are, in my opinion, like <laughs> super tasty. Ones that you like. Exactly. But when I looked up information about the New York Sour, um, a little history, first of all, it's thought to have been invented by a bartender in the 1880s in Chicago. Interesting. Of course, 
now it's a New York Sour, so there has to be more to the story. Okay. And its original name is thought to have been called the Continental Sour. But um, it was later picked up and made popular by a bartender in New York City and therefore the yeah. name. So you know that's how it is, right? You know, once a bartender or a place or a person makes it popular it's, and yeah, rises, where, where it becomes popular. and then that's yeah. where the name sticks. But what on, on its most basic level, it's really kind of like a whiskey sour, but there's a float of red wine to finish. And there's gonna be some technique that I'm not gonna necessarily have, but I'm gonna give it my best go, okay? Um, and you should have it be a dry red wine. I was looking at multiple recipes. The recipe I'm sharing with you tonight, by the way, is from um, a blog, A Couple Cooks, and their version uses the ingredients that I put on Twitter, which are bourbon, lemon juice, um, a dry red wine, and then they use um, maple syrup, but you could use simple syrup, you could use rye whiskey. I noticed other recipes use rye whiskey. They so like- Are we using maple syrup? Yes. Okay. Oh, we need cool. to get maple syrup out. There Would you get maple syrup out? Just, I'll do that right at the end. No, I know, you're diluting my, oh my, my drink there. And of course, diluting is what I love. So, the, no, no, the maple syrup is actually in the fridge in the back. Oh, yeah, sorry. On the bottom shelf. And it's the one we got from the Finger Lake. So super excited about that. So it's a good maple syrup. But in any event, and then a lemon twist with it. Now, some recipes call for an egg white, by the way. And you would just add the egg white when I'm adding the ingredients that I'm going to be adding just a minute to the shaker. You would add the egg white so there'd be this frothy layer. So we're not doing the egg white um, tonight because I just thought we'd try it kind of traditional more traditional plain even but if you like it maybe you'll because sometimes you have egg whites there yeah so true. you could yeah. actually use yeah. one of those a certain amount um so anyway so they do recommend because bourbon is a star that or if it's if you're using rye to make sure you use a high quality one um so that that flavor comes through i wasn't and, going to use the best bourbons just because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So I wanted to. Uh, well, not only that, but some, like some of the like best, some of the best bourbons you use for sipping. So, right. um, I like this bourbon. but it just, it just needs to be a high quality bourbon. Um, so that is the drink and at the proportions go two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of lemon juice, which I already have um, squeezed in. I know it's a sour, it's New York sour, wow. sour. Yeah. The sour is an important we component it's of gonna it. it's going to be sour. And, and um, actually, they, they do recommend using a dry red because you don't want it too sweet because you do, you want balance, but I do think it has sour notes. Okay. Ergo, well, you're gonna sour have, in the name. But you're going to have maple syrup in there too. Yeah. Cool. And okay. maple syrup is just a half ounce. Okay. So, and I do the wine at the end with a spoon. So you, maybe, so how much wine maybe you, you could give me a, like a rolling drum to see if I'm able to do it. Um, you I'll put in one ounce of wine. It. So I'll be oh, measuring that out and then pouring it over the spoon. Okay. So let's, oh, but first, I'm so excited because I know I like wine and this is a Josh Merlot. Um, I've, so when I scoured the recipes, saw many different recipes, you saw just about every drier red wine. You saw Merlot, you saw, saw Malbec, Zinfandel, Cab, um, just, he's really worried about the ice, I can I, tell. I'm strange about ice. I know, strange about ice. So I'm going to first pour myself a little Merlot, just so. This is my first red wine of the season, by the way. Blood, blood, blood. Mm. Josh is a re reliable brand. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, we've gotten we've, yeah, we've gotten yeah. the Josh um, Pinot Noir. I will trust you. I feel like it's a reliable one. And then we've got chocolate, but I digress again. So let's get this mixed up. So I'm going to get two. Actually, we put in the lemon juice first. I'm covering up everything so y'all can see. So first, we're going to put the ounce of lemon juice. Huh? And then we're going to get two ounces of bourbon in the big old bottle. Sorry. You know why? It costs less, cost, and more cost efficient, cost efficient, or whatever the heck you always tell. Would well, you want to do that? Yeah, I think it's probably So best. it's two ounces, so I got the clear one. Thank you, babe. So there's an ounce okay. right here. And go with proportions, because you know. You don't you know, Don't you, go with you don't want me with to cheat. your don't improvise. <laughs> this isn't one to put a floater on. 
It's not like a mojito. I think that's good, and you can just go a little higher in the next one, but you, you do you. Okay. So that's one ounce. And one more. One more of those. See, I couldn't hold it that way. <gasps> oh, my. That was a little heavy. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Oh, because the other one was a little light. Mm hmm Okay. So, and then we do not want to forget the half ounce of maple syrup. And this is a delightful maple syrup from the Finger Lakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. It's very good. Mm. And I've got my half ounce. Make sure, yeah. Yep. So you got a little sweetness. Now, what they like about it, and I saw quite a few recipes that use the maple syrup. And again, you could use, I'm gonna let this pour because he's a little worried about all that sour lemon. You could, you could use. Um, you could use simple syrup. Simple syrup, right. Or the Jamara syrup too. Um, but but maple does add a little. It tastes good. Add, oh, there you go. Does add a little something, something. So how bad can it be, right? All right, and then I'm gonna That's shake her up. Sour. It's really good syrup. Strain into the glass. And I'm going to try the wine trick. So we have bets on whether I can make a nice pretty red layer on top of this sour layer. What are your bets? What are the odds? I think you'll be able to do it. You're pretty talented that way. Oh, I'm glad you have faith in me. Oh, I hope there's enough. Oh my. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Because I hope there's enough room for the wine. Um, well, there should be. So two ounces, oh, half ounce, yeah, one, three and a half ounce. There should be plenty. Oh no, you got to put another ounce there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might want this to try is, that out. This is going to be fun. Oh, it's so exciting! The thrill. Our laptop. Do you know how you're going to do it? Yes, our laptop might be possessed, yeah. and I might not be able to fit all this wine in the glass. Are you nervous? No, because that's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we have his lemon zest. Don't really forget that. All right. Because you're not the one that's good. So first I'm going to do this, because this way I've got the ounce already in there. Okay. And then, so this is what you do. Make sure everyone can see. Oh, no. This is better to see it right there. Oh, there we go. So what you should do is you apparently, apparently not practice this, because why waste, you know, good liquor? So um, you put a spoon, and then when you pour it over, it's supposed to stay in the layer on the top. Oh, and I'm <laughs> getting it all over the place. Uh-oh. Can I change my bet? <laughs> <laughs> so we should have brought a smaller spoon. Yeah, that's... I, I was thinking kinda, the bigger spoon would work better, yeah, but was, do you all see? I was kind of... Do you all see the carnage here? Okay, um, so we're going to need a, a paper towel. <laughs> But you know what? We're keeping it, it real like here. It's a, a it's a Wednesday night. Only murders in this building. It's a Wednesday night. Trying to fix a nice drink for my husband, and look where it got me. But friends, I do see a layer there, and I see a layer here too. But I do see a layer there. So let me just let me bring it over. You stay there, okay, Mr. Gray, Mrs. Gray. We've got all of our gray on the grays. Look at the layer. Can you see it? Pretty cool looking, I will say that. So the good news is I was able to keep it on top. The bad news is I lost a lot of the wine. So do you want to put more in? So I well let's taste spoon? it first because remember we didn't fit all the we didn't fit all that in. Well, I know, but I think we should have it shows the same well, how about we taste it first? All right. Yeah, because like based on the picture that looks proportionally right. So you want me to taste it? Yes. I should take a picture first. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm afraid when you sip, it's going to make mess up the layers, and I won't get a good picture. Right. Can I have your phone? Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So. Do you want me to take the picture? I'll no, take no, it. I'm, yeah. I'm no. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tracy said, "Impressive." Uh, well. Is that I, now? Is that the spillage, or is I that know. the actual drink? <laughs> I think it did possess, it possessed our, um, this is good, our, good our video. whole building. I'm a, I'm a hot mess tonight. Oh my word. Okay. Jeez. You too can make drinks this way. All right. Okay. She's almost done. I'm almost done. There we go. 
can also take 37 pictures. Oh, but you're, you're just a little mean for someone who's getting a drink made for them. All right. All right, here we go. Good. I'm actually uh, I'm gonna take. No, right? no, I was just gonna smell yeah, it. Yeah, you no, go first, no, you're right? gonna drink it first. Okay, so I can take. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink of I'm wine. Not supposed to stir it. Not supposed nope. to do anything, nope. right? <laughs> I don't know. That's not a face thing. That's just really strange. Well, a sour, right? Can I taste? I'm curious. I don't know. The second sip was better than the first. <laughs> well, it has bourbon, so I'm yeah, out. It's, it's actually... <laughs> no, but I will say the I lemon juice it, does temper the bourbon. It does. And, Amazingly so. And, and the maple syrup. I think there should be a little bit more wine. I really actually do. Yeah. To have it properly done. You want All me right. to do it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that was it. We should have had the smaller. I should have used a smaller spoon. I thought bigger was better there, but apparently not. It's actually, it's just different. I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's pretty good. I actually think I like it. It's interesting, but I'm not a bourbon person. But the lemon juice does temper the bourbon and the maple. It's not soup. I mean, you you taste the lemon, but it's not super puckery or anything. But like I don't. It's I, no, it's, you're right. It's not. But I don't really it's taste. Just a little interesting. I don't taste the bourbon that much. Do you really? Yeah. But I'm kind of bourbon sensitive. <laughs> Unless it's cooked. If it's cooked, I I really like bourbon. I honestly taste the wine and the lemon, probably the most. But it's not. It's not real heavy on either one because I think the bourbon and the um, syrup are actually offsetting. Offsetting. Well, there's more in here. Yeah, I'll probably if, drink that if you need so. to. Um, it's pretty. It is, and, and I mean, don't take my word for it because I don't. I don't drink bourbon. So what oh, I oh, Tracy said I discovered I like bourbon. I want to try it. Oh. As you, and you should. We we have the. Instead, we have the eats. I can say we have the drinks. But it looks like I, you drank, you drank almost all the wine off the top. Well, because that's kind of what what, what I think happens. Oh, okay. I don't know. Well, I'm just yeah. By the way, the Merlot um, is is super tasty. So because so I, let, I, me, I, let me just say, mm -hmm. I think I would actually drink this again. Mm. Why? I mean, I mean that. I don't mean that from a bad thing. I mean that just because, like, what would draw you to it? Because I think that would help our our viewers understand. So, and I'm going to break into the chocolate. By the way, Seattle chocolate. I think Trace, you'd recommended this. I might have gotten the wrong one from uh, Riverwards. It's maybe I got the wrong one. Is that the, is Seattle chocolate the one you recommended? I don't remember. Um, Rainier cherry dark chocolate truffle bar with cherries and pecans. Oh my Let's crack that open. Like, how nice is that? Is that the one, Trace, that you'd recommended? I was thinking it was the Seattle, but maybe I'm wrong. So I got all flustered. I was looking for something spicy, like the Aztec chocolate from um, Rochester, and yeah. they didn't have spicy anywhere. So I was, I just got all flustered and was like, okay. So the reason I would say it's actually, I don't know why, but it's somewhat refreshing. Mm. A little sour. Right? I guess, yeah. I guess that's probably why. Mm. But for, you know, you think about bourbon and you think about wine and red wine. Good chocolate, chocolate and that red would wine. That would be that would be kind of rich, too rich. Um, Seattle chocolate, yeah. Yep, yeah, good. So it would be too rich um, drinks, mm. and it's really not because I think, and, and you throw a syrup in there. Mm -hmm. but I think it's really because of the how they play off of each other and, and the uh, and the lemon. There's nothing like chocolate and red wine. Now, there's nothing like chocolate and lemon. <laughs> um, I'm so sticky. I don't know what made me all sticky. Oh, the red wine. <laughs> That's spilled. Oh, when we were getting ready, and I was squeezing the lemon juice with my little my squeezer, which I love. It's one of my favorite tools. I it went all over me. It like went up the back, and so I'm lemon all here. So there's that. But anyways, um, well, good. Yeah. I'm glad. 
I'm glad because it was certainly different. And you don't order whiskey sours though, right? No. I mean, I, I like, I don't mind with whiskey sours. I just don't, you know, you don't really see them out that much. You have to order it. Well, yeah. but that's always, it's that's not, like, but can't yeah, you like order a like a, a classic drink? drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, New York Sour would be a classic drink. Like that would just be, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, well, a little strange after people, eating chocolate. People who love bourbon, please let us know what you think. Let us know in the comments below. Maybe you already are a fan of the New York Sour. And let us know if there's a variation that you particularly like. Or let us know if we should definitely try the egg white next time. Because that does provide that like, that little. So when you put the egg white in? when you shake because it gets all frothy. So when oh, you pour so it, so what happens in. is it goes, oh, the wine cool goes looking. below the egg white egg on top of the sour. So it goes, it's white, red, and then the yellowish, beige-ish color. We don't have any egg white. So, right mm -mm. so yes. Oh, that's, that's um, actually kind of, that would be cool. Yeah, so anyways, but let us know. All the information is below and coming up, I am not doing a stream this weekend. I am dropping a video. We'll be making my grandma's tea cookies. And I decided after I was looking up some information about the secret ingredient, and I decided I'm going to reveal it. Because apparently, I think a lot of people like the secret ingredient that I, generally speaking, don't like. But I love it in the cookies, and I love it in biscotti. In fact, I add it to my biscotti I make every Christmas because I love the flavor it reminds my grandma so, so much. So, um, and that ingredient is anise. So the cookies, the tea cookies are actually anise cookies. And I have to actually do this by video because I think they have to sit for like 12 hours or something. So hopefully the dog doesn't eat them while they're sitting. I'm not really sure where they're gonna be sitting because we do have a dog, but we'll see so hopefully by the end of the video you'll see cookies and i've not made them but i'm really excited because they're they bring oh they will just bring me back they will they'll make me think of my grandma and i will dip them in tea or coffee and they will be divine um how is it compared to whiskey sour do you think um it's a good question i mean it's very similar i mean especially once the wine goes away but um I would say this is probably a little bit less like puckery, so because of the wine, it's, yeah, it's probably wine. yeah. So if you like that, if if you like a little bit less pucker, then this and would be, pretty. I, I think I would probably less pucker and more pretty. I think I would probably choose this over a whiskey sour for me. Yeah, especially if and you I do the like egg whites. I would like to try it with the egg whites. Yeah, absolutely. If that, we try that, with the egg whites, we'll make sure and post the pictures yeah, on Twitter. That'd be cool. Um, so by the way, if you are if you are listening to the video, make sure and find me on Twitter, Philly Philly Live, because we post lots of things beyond what we do with our um, streams and our videos. And next week, I'm really excited because we are using wine yet again, which because I love wine, um, but this is definitely going to be an Amy drink. I've never had this one before. It's a new recipe. What is it? And it, it's a roasted grape. I forget the name of it. It's ro but it involves roasting grapes. I make a um, simple syrup with um, rosemary. Yum. So excited about that. And why'd you laugh at me? <laughs> and it involves sparkly wine. And I forget what else. So, like, I'm all in with that. It just, it looked looked so it looked light and refreshing but also depth with the um what's it called the rosemary simple syrup i love special simple syrups like when we go when you go out and they make you know a um it's like drinking a peach. signature drink a lot of times it's those little things it's the simple syrup set um that have been made that are specific to that drink so like i'm drinking really drinking a piece of cake no it's rosemary it oh, be. True. rosemary is it's like drinking a piece of bread Okay, so that is next week. So I'm very excited about that I'll one. I'll taste it. You'll t oh, yeah, of course you'll taste it, yes. And that'll be very yummy. So that's what is coming up. So thank you for joining us. I hope that your week is less frenzied than the stream was today. I mean, I just felt like there was a lot going on. Oh, thank you for joining, Tracy. And anyone else that's watching, thank you for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe um, so you don't miss a thing. And cheers to you. Have a great rest of your week and let us know what Cheers. you're drinking. Let us know what you're trying and finish out strong, right? Cheers. Right. Cheers. Bye. Good night. See ya. I'm going to get a piece of chocolate. You should. <laughs>